What's up everybody, Matt from the Nerdy Review here. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a couple of different ways to make molds in Fusion 360. So I'm going to show you a two-part mold and a one-part mold. We're going to start with the one-part mold, and for our example, we're going to use this little cross here. So the idea here is that we're going to create a mold so that you can perform cold metal casting to create a copy of this cross. Now, cold metal casting is just when you use an epoxy resin with aluminum or other metal powders mixed in, um, and you can create a very realistic metal effect. So to get started making this mold, all we're going to do is choose the back side of our cross to create a new sketch on, and then we're going to draw a big old rectangle. Size doesn't really matter, it just needs to be bigger than the cross. And this is going to be the block that we use to make the mold out of. So I'm going to extrude it as a new body, and I'm going to click OK. All right, now our next step is to subtract the cross from the block so that we can create the mold. Now this is really easy. All you're going to do is select Modify and then Combine. So for our target body, the first option, we're going to want to choose the block itself since that's what the target that we're going to subtract this other mass from. And then the tool body is going to be what we're, the shape that we want to form with. So you can select the tool body either by selecting the body directly in the, in the drawing, or you can select it on the side over here. I'm just going to go ahead and select it in the drawing, and then I'm going to click OK. Now notice I had the box that said keep tools unchecked so that after I clicked OK, the cross disappeared but you can see that you immediately have a nifty little mold here. All right, so that's an easy example. Let's try something a little bit more complicated. So this one's going to require a two-piece mold, and this is just going to be a simple drinking glass. So I'm going to assume that you want to use, you know, a few different colors of epoxy resin and make some tie-dye drinking glasses, all right? So for this, what we're going to do the first thing is going to be create sketch on the bottom and then a big old block again. Okay, so I'm actually going to, for distance, I'm going to go to object. I'm going to select the very top of this. Okay, new body. And then I do need to make this come just a little bit farther out since it's like directly at the bottom of the cup right now. I'm just going to make it go an inch. I'm going to choose new body. Now if I were to choose join, then all three of these bodies would be the same. And that's not what we want. So right now I'm going to combine these two. And then I'm going to combine again. And this time, I'm going to remove and keep tools. All right, so you can see that we have this, which would be considered the uh, core of the mold. Let me show you this. So this would be called the cavity. The reason this is called the cavity is pretty obvious. It's a giant cavity. Now, let's show that side again. So this creates the inside of the cup. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just make the cup red real quick. All right, so you can see this forms the inside. This is called the core side of the mold. So you have the cavity and the core. All right, you have your protrusion, and then you have the cavity. All right, so what we're going to want to do in order to make this, uh, I'm going to actually call you the cavity, and I'm going to call you the core. All right, so what we're going to want to do to make the core like uh, actual two parts is just extrude another block on top here. Just make it go an inch, roughly. And then let's combine.
All right, so now you can see we got a completed core side of the mold that forms the inside of the cup. And then you can also see that we have the cavity to form the outside. Now you might wonder, how do we pour our resin in? How do we get to this? This is where we form our sprue. So what I'm going to do, I made this little recessed part on the cup. And I'm going to go to object. I'm going to choose the cup. And I'm going to do a cut. So now what you should be able to do is take a syringe with all your epoxy resin in it and shove it down in this hole and you can just squirt and it should fill up. So let's get rid of the cavity side so you can see. See that's why I designed this little recession right here so that the sprue that's left over from filling this with the resin can be easily cut off and then you can cut it off and then it'll you know, if there's a little chunk sticking out of it, it won't matter and the cup will be able to sit flat because of the recession. But overall, that is a simple way to make a two-part mold and a one-part mold. And I hope this video helped you. I will create a more advanced mold making tutorial. Uh, I'm not sure when, but I will. If you have any questions, you can feel free to drop them in the comments and I will answer them for you in a very timely manner. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.